So this is a quick seven minute video uh, to show uh, how not to drive through turn nine at Willow Springs. Uh, it's, uh, it ends up in a fairly exciting little spin at about 110 miles per hour. The first couple clips here are uh, just giving me time to set things up. That's my wife, Carrie Ann, wishing me luck and rolling out of the pits. So on my left there is Larry and a uh, two liter Formula Atlantic. And just on the other side of him is an orange uh, Formula Atlantic uh, Ed. I think they're both marches. So we'll show you uh, the first lap in three quarters, basically, right before the action. Um, the spin occurs right at the end of lap two. And then pretty much from then, the race is over, and I'm uh, just chasing the leaders with my front wing all bent up and <laughs> my side skirt uh, all torn. And uh, end up finishing six out of about 25 cars. So. Okay, here they come. As you can see from both the uh, exterior shot of the start and then the interior view, uh, it's a nice fair start. Uh, not the best start by me. I uh, was a little far back, a little late getting on the gas, but pretty easily into uh, third place. I uh, thought I would, might get second even, uh, but uh, Larry kind of closed down on me on turn one a little bit, which I thought he might do, and could, didn't have the horsepower to pull him uh, through turn two. But I'm happy. I'm figuring what the heck. I'm just going to chase him now. And uh, so, uh, race is basically unfolding like I expect. And I'm comfortable behind him. I think maybe I can wear him out after eight or ten laps, get him a little tired, you know, and uh, maybe get a pass on him and even uh, catch uh, Ed. I've had lap times uh, at previous uh, weekends that uh, make me pretty competitive with him, but. Uh, I wasn't too sure that I'd be able to catch them. They're pretty fast cars with two liters in them. So as uh, this first lap finishes up, um, I'll point out to you that the data on the left, the uh, speed uh, and uh, time of the laps isn't quite right. Uh, long story. Uh, <laughs> the morning started bad by me losing uh, Ben's, my buddy's uh, data uh, logging device. So. This is kind of substitute data, but it, uh, the speed is pretty accurate uh, and is what I wanted to see uh, where I, I go off track in turn nine. I think the other thing to point out is that uh, the reason I go off, if you watch the uh, videos, they will come at you at full speed from exterior, then interior, and then slow motion exterior and interior, and then another uh, full speed, uh, normal speed uh, version from the, uh, inside the car. Uh, notice my thumb on the red button, which is how I talk on the radio. Uh, I don't know exactly why. I thought it was a good idea to talk to Bob uh, going through the turn nine. In fact, if you look close in the slow motion of the video, you can see I've still got my thumb on the button as I run off the, off the road. Uh, the other thing to notice is that as I run off the road, uh, my hands are straight. I'm steering straight ahead. And it's only I only lose control of the car when I hit the bump. Uh, uh, that's about halfway. Uh, so. Here we go. Shoot! Oh gosh, darn it!
not so funny at the moment, of course, but uh, watching the video now, I kind of find it amusing that after I finish talking to Bob, let him know I'm okay, I'm out there reaching out to wipe my mirrors off so I can see if cars are coming behind me. Needless to say, a uh, whole car got pretty dirty, dusty. So in slow motion here, uh, if you notice the car, it's pointed straight ahead right now, and then you get the big cloud of dust. I hit the bump, and it flips me sideways, snaps me sideways like that. Um, I was lucky, but also good, I guess, in that I kept the car rolling and kept it running and got back on the track right away. So it was really annoying. made me angry. There's where it kind of bounces me in the air and flips me sideways. But... Uh, could have been worse, a lot worse. Car could have been damaged a lot worse than what we think it is. So annoying, kept me from finishing third or second even in the race, maybe even getting up and fighting for first, but uh live to fight another day at least. So I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, learned the same lesson I did, which is don't be fooling around when you're going through a high speed uh, decreasing radius third at Willow Springs called turn nine. So, lessons learned. I mentioned this was uh, the end of lap two. I did manage to uh, finish the race, uh, although the front wing's kind of hard to tell there, but it was pointed way up in the air, so I couldn't uh, go around turn eight or nine very fast. Car was understeering really bad, but I did manage to finish six and drove another eight or ten laps. I forget exactly how many. Passed quite a few of the slower cars, as you saw. And then, of course, spent some time uh, cleaning my car out when I got back. This is a shot of Vince's. Vince's video will be up later.